Hey guys, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. So I'm so sorry, I've been doing a lot of hauls and unboxings for you guys. So I just was doing my makeup and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a short video for you guys. So this is a video about paranormal story and it's combined with a really bad dating story. So when I graduated high school, literally one week after I graduated high school, I moved to San Francisco. And I was there for Thanksgiving. My friend Morgan, that's her actual name, so Morgan, if you're watching, hi. Um, my friend Morgan, she was like, hey, are you doing anything for Thanksgiving? And I was like, no, I'm not. She was like, well, I'm actually going to my boyfriend's, but my brother was looking for somebody to take to a concert. Do you want to go with him? So I was like, sure, I'll go with your brother to a concert. That sounds really fun. So it was Green Day. So we went and we saw Green Day for... Thanksgiving and it was really fun and the whole time like her brother was really nice like, he wasn't creepy he wasn't handsy he was a nice guy I really liked him I have nothing like that to say about him so the whole time like he just kept talking about his car he's like oh my car's such a piece of shit and he really looked like he was like a hard-working guy I forget exactly what he did um and I'm not going to say his name let's call him Mike so Mike uh which like looked like a hard-working guy you know he was also like 10 years older than me. I was like 17, 18 or had just turned 18. I was really young and he was, I believe between 26 and 28. So he was like a decade older than me pretty much. So he was really nice. He was like a perfect gentleman. We never even kissed. He was a really nice guy. There was nothing bad about him, but I wasn't really looking at him as like a romantic interest. I was more so looking at him as my friend's brother who was also in San Francisco who also didn't have anything to do for Thanksgiving. So we hung out, everything was fine. A few days later we hung out again. I think we went to dinner or went to a movie or something. He was still super nice and as I was getting out of the car he was like, oh hey I got you something and he handed me like a box. It wasn't wrapped up or anything but it was a box and it was a digital camera and I was like oh my god because when we were at the Green Day concert which by the way was the best concert I've ever been to in my life um he I was like oh god I really wish I had a digital camera because I think I had like a disposable camera or something and I was like oh that'd be so nice to have a digital camera so he went out and got me like a $600 digital camera I was like oh my god this is too nice so I was like at first I was like no I will not accept this and then he was like no like you know you're so creative like I would love for you to have this camera blah blah so I took it and I was like wow so I started playing with it and I started noticing that every time I would take a selfie there would be kind of like a white like almost like a flash but coming from an area where there shouldn't have been flash so at first I thought that maybe it was just I don't know it was like the camera was malfunctioning I didn't really know so I went he asked me again if I wanted to go to another date and I said yes so we went to dinner and we're at dinner and I'm taking pictures of both of us and like you know selfie mode and there that white cast was everywhere in the pictures so I was like oh it's so weird he goes to the bathroom like 30 I would say like 30 minutes and I'm sitting there just like playing with my the camera and I'm kind of like oh my god like what's going on it was like really have diarrhea. So after like 30 minutes, the waiter comes up to me and he's like, ma'am, is your date in the bathroom? And I was like, yes. He's like, you need to come with me right away. So he had OD'd on something. I don't know what he took. I, to this day, I don't know what he took, but he OD'd in the bathroom and the paramedics had to be called. He, he actually like his pulse went completely dead for something like 30 seconds or something. So he technically died. Like it was just really awful. Um, but I don't know why I did this. This is like very weird that I did this. For some reason, his sister, I really looked up to her and I don't know why, but I thought that his sister thought I was going to be lying for some reason because when I saw him on the floor, I was like, I'm never going to be able to go on another date with this guy. Like, I just can't handle this. I'm too young. And I, for some reason, took a picture of him with the digital camera laying on the floor because I just, I don't know why I like needed to. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. It was like something in me was like, take a picture, take a picture now. So I took the picture and then later when I was looking at the pictures, there was a white figure, like clearly a white figure, like an angel kind of leaning over him. So I caught on camera a picture of an angel and I remember looking at it when I was in the taxi going home so I had to go to the emergency room with him. it was a big deal and I remember like looking at the pictures and I saw it and I was like 
oh my god that's a picture of an angel and i went home i showed my roommate my roommate saw it my roommate looked at it we both were like oh my god and my neighbor actually came over my neighbor cj and he took a picture with his camera of my camera because he couldn't believe it either the following day i was going through my pictures and the picture was gone not only was that picture gone all of my pictures were gone like it was like every single picture i had taken was deleted so i do not have that picture to show you which is very sad um but yeah that's my weird dating story combined with paranormal activity story so thank god that he lived and i definitely believe in angels because of everything that happened in that so yeah that's my story please give this video a like please hit that subscribe but subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys later bye <music>